of children are like you. We call you the names King of Glory. We believe in you, hallelujah. Now like you, King of Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lion of Judah, you are worthy. Lion of Judah, we praise you. Lion of Judah, you are the mighty. You are great, you are, you are Dawe. You are Alpha and Omega. There is not like you, you are King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Somebody lift your voice and worship the Lion of Judah. Worship the King of Kings. Worship the Lord of Lords. Is the Most High, is the King of Kings. Is the Lord our God. Is the Father our healer. Is the Father our maker. Is El Shaddai. Is El Shaddai. Is El Shaddai. Father, we praise you. Father, we exalt you. We magnify you. The wise and the wise head. The bigger than the biggest. We adore you. We honor you. We exalt you. You are worthy the lily of the valley. The Lord so shalom. The bigger than the biggest. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and Omega. There's no one like you among the gods. Only, only, only is you. Father, we worship you. Lion of Judah, we worship you. Lion of Judah, we worship you. We worship you today from the bottom of heart. Lion of Judah, we exalt you. Lion of Judah, we honor you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshiped the Lord. And everybody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, again, I welcome you into our service in Jesus' name. Viewers, forever you, wherever you are, please allow me on behalf of God's servant, take this opportunity granted to me by God, and also on behalf of God's servant, welcome you wherever you are into our service today in Jesus' name. So wherever you are, you are much welcomed in Jesus' name. Today is your service. The Lord will impact you and the Lord will change your story for good, for better in Jesus' name. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, please, let us enter further into another section. Of praying for because of the service of today in Jesus' name, and we begin by thanking the Lord. Somebody say, Thanking the Lord. We thank the Lord for what He has done. We praise the Lord for who He is. The Lord has done marvelous in our lives. It is a righteous thing, it is a good thing to thank the Lord. So, if it is a good thing to thank the Lord, it means it is a bad thing not to thank the Lord. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Never refuse to return all the glory. Never refuse to return all the honor to the Lord. He's the doer of everything. He's the maker. He's the creator. He's everything that you need for you to be where you are in Jesus' name. Please, I want you to open with me in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 19. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 19. And I will read, please, the Bible says, and out of them shall proceed thus giving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. When you thank the Lord, he makes sure he multiplies you. He makes sure you are, that you are not small. He makes sure that you are not small you but he makes sure that he multiplies you he increases you he makes you somebody praise be to the lord please lift your voice and tell the lord thank you because of gift of life thank you because of what he has done upon your life thank the lord in everything for everything thank the lord in everything of what he has done upon your life for everything of what he has done in the mighty name of jesus christ you are where you are because of the doing of the law because of the finger of the god because of the hand of god what he has done upon your life is mighty, is greater. You cannot do it for your soul. Father, we say thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. Thank you because.
because of the grace. Thank you because of this day. Thank you because of the service of today. Thank you for all that you have done upon our life. Father, we lift our voice uh, to say thank you, to say thank you, to say thank you, to say thank you. From the bottom of our heart, uh, Lord, we acknowledge your doing. Uh, Lord, we appreciate what you have done uh, upon this commission, upon our families, uh, upon our members, uh, upon our businesses. Uh, thank you for the preservation. Thank you for the protection. Thank you in everything. Uh, thank you in everything, Daddy. Receive all the honor. Receive all the glory. You have done it, Lord. You have done it, Lord. You have done it, Lord. It is you alone who has done it, Lord. Receive all our thanksgiving. Receive all our thanksgiving. Receive all the honor. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked the Lord in everything, for everything that He has done upon our life, that He has done upon our church, that He will do in our service today. In Jesus' mighty name, and somebody say, Amen. Say amen. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord multiply you for that that giving in Jesus' name. Prayer number two. Again, I want us to ask God of all grace to release grace that will strengthen you, that will perfect you, and that will establish you today in Jesus' name. God is God of grace. He is able to release his grace upon your life. Open with me in the book of Acts chapter 20, verse 32 in the book of Acts chapter 20 verse 32 viewers we want to pray for grace of establishment of affection the grace that strengthens we want to ask God to release it upon our lives in Jesus name Acts chapter 20 verse 32 the word of God says and now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified the word of grace today we shall be receiving the word of god the word of grace the bible says in the book of first peter chapter 5 verse 10 our god of all grace is able to release grace which is able to perfect and strengthen you and establish you in jesus name please in one minute lift your voice and ask for a special grace grace of affection grace of establishment grace of strengthenment in the mighty name of jesus christ father god release your grace upon our service today and the servant of god is teaching us a servant of god is releasing the word today father god release the word of grace a word of grace a word of grace a word of grace a word of grace that will establish us that will build us that will restore our virtues that will bless us that will perfect us that will strengthen us that will sharpen us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ word of grace that will build us that will give us our inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for your word law let's show us for your word law strengthen us for your word law perfect us increase us beautify us all round about law let there be restoration let there be rest round about as you release your word as you perfect us as you establish us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ once again lift your voice and tell the Lord to meet all your needs to meet all your expectation father god meet all our needs meet all our expectation today today bless me lord 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 today lord meet all my expectation meet the expectation of our viewers meet our expectation lord bless us daddy bless us daddy in jesus name, we pray and everybody say amen thank the lord Appreciate the Lord for He is good, for He is mighty, for He is great, for He is wonderful, He is worthy. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you, Lord. Not like you, King of Kings. For sure, we are here for you. Our hearts are joyful as we worship you, as we lift you high, as we magnify you more and more, Jesus. Hallelujah, we bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. You are God. And oh, he. Ancient of days. There is none like 
Come away, Julia, you're dead, Baba. 
Hakuna kama wewe mwenye nguvu Hakuna kama wewe Nani kama wewe baba Nani mwenye nguvu kama wewe Jehova Hakuna mwingine na wewe tu akuabudu Haleluya Haleluya Ni wewe tu hatuna mwingine Oh hakuna kama wewe Jesus higher and higher Not like him, hallelujah Hallelujah, we bless you, we honor you We celebrate you, Jesus higher and higher Hallelujah, we worship you, King of Kings In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped the Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah Clap for Jesus higher and higher We praise him, hallelujah Celebrate Jesus Clap for Jesus higher and higher. Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy of praise. Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy of praise. Oh, Jesus, we lift you up. You are worthy of praise. Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy of praise. Jesus, Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy of praise. Keep away. 
Somebody lift up your voice in worship. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord tonight. Worship Him in the beauty of holiness. Just burst in tongues before the Lord. Worship the Lord. Begin to speak in other tongues in the presence of God. Somebody worship him, please. Tell him it's worthy. Tell him it's worthy. It's mighty. It's awesome. It's wonderful. It's you are holy you are mighty you are wonderful you are great you are glorious you are precious you are awesome you're faithful malababushila lababuse telibi makasa gabalaba shandalaba leba si hadalia mashata lema so gadosa kapa zita libu shahata lema shihagadia kaka balaba Somebody worship the Lord. Open your heart before the Lord and worship. Ribo shila la babu sanda la ba shata le mashagada la ba shanda la ba molo bo shila la babu sata la ba mala babu shila la babu se telebi mala babu shila la babu se telebi sota la ba maka saga ba la ba shindelebi sota la ba molo bo shila la babu sata la ba. In Jesus precious name we have worshipped and God's people say amen One more prayer you are going to pray over your life tonight Tell the Lord I desire to see you Lord I want to have an encounter with you I want to experience you in my life Show yourself in my life Reveal yourself in my life tonight in Jesus name Lift up your voice and desire God to touch your life Desire the Lord to reveal himself in your life Tell the Lord, I want to see you. I want to see your power in my life. I want to see your hand in my life. I want to have an experience with you, Lord, tonight. Lift up your voice. Somebody desire to see God in a different way tonight. Desire to see God in a new dimension tonight. Desire to see God in a new way in your life. Desire to experience God in your life tonight desire to experience his power to experience his presence in your life tonight daddy reveal yourself to us tonight reveal yourself to us tonight reveal yourself to me tonight let that be your prayer Lord reveal yourself in my life reveal yourself in my life I want to see your power I want to see your hand in my life I want to see your power, your might hand of power in my life. Somebody pray. Lebo 
Leo Shihanda Shahanda Laba Nelobo Soka to Sakapa. Tell the Lord I want to see you, Lord, in my life. I want to see you in my life. I want to see you in my life. I want to have an experience with you, Lord. Makasa Gabalaba Shatalaba. Shindele Biso Talaba. Molobo Shilalaba Busandalaba. Somebody surrender yourself to the Lord and tell the Lord I need you more. I need more of you. More of your power. More of your presence. More of you, Lord, in my life. More of you, Lord. Take more of me and give me more of you, Lord. Take more of me and give me more of you. More of you, Lord. Malababushi lalababusa talaba. Mika sagabalaba. Molobushi lalababusa talaba. Molobushi lalababusa telibi. Maka sagabalaba shatalaba. Malababushi lalababusa talaba. Malababushi lalababusa telibi. Maka sagabalaba shandalaba. Molobushi lalababusa talaba. Malababushi lalababusa talaba. Malababushi lalababusa talaba. Malababushi lalababusa telibi. Mika sagabalaba. Molo Malababushi la la babu sata la ba. Malababushi la la babu se telebi. Malababushi la la babu sata la ba. Me kasa gaba la ba. Mo koso gobi gabu la bu sata. Le mashi handa la ba sata. Le bu shala la babu sata la ba. Malabushi la la babu sata la ba. Somebody pray. Lord, I need the restoration. Somebody pray for restoration. Lord, restore my life. Restore my family. Restore my business restore my career restore my ministry i need the restoration restore my health somebody pray for restoration tonight pray for restoration let the lord restore your business let the lord restore your career let the lord restore your destiny your destiny somebody pray for restoration god of restoration restore my health god of restoration restore my family restore my destiny somebody pray for restoration let there be restoration marababu shahagadu sakapa ziatalia bashahanda tell the lord i need the restoration i need an encounter with the restoration encounter with the restoration god of restoration show yourself in my life i need the restoration restoration somebody pray for financial restoration pray for your marital restoration pray for your career restoration pray for the restoration of your business somebody pray let there be restoration god you are the master restorer cause restoration effect restoration effect restoration you are the restorer you are the master restorer specialist in the restoration let there be restoration tonight 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 god roll away shame roll away reproach roll away mockery in the lives of your people as you effect your restoration tonight Shanda, you are the healing God. Let there be restoration. You are the healing God. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Restoration in families. Restoration in relationship. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Somebody pray for restoration. Financial restoration. Business restoration. Career restoration. Pray for restoration relationship restoration restoration let there be restoration god of again and again visit your children tonight maraba shahagada sakaparabahasa telibu sahata lemajia gadia kakabalaba mulobo shahatalaba 
God of all flesh is anything too hard for you Lord is anything too hard for you Lord let there be restoration in the family let there be restoration in the marriage let there be restoration in the business let there be restoration in the career let there be restoration of elder let there be restoration show yourself tonight show your power tonight show your glory tonight show yourself daddy daddy show your power in restoring your people makasa gabalaba shahata lima shagadia kakabalaba makusu gudisi kabia laba shahata lima shagadalaba shalalababa molobu shindili bisota lima shagadasa kapa zetaliaba shahata laba Zokato soko pele bisota le mashi handala bashata le mazegedia kakabalaba molobu shahata le mashi handalaba we surrender to you Lord we surrender to you tonight Daddy we desire restoration 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 as you have said do it Lord as you have said do it Lord restoration thank you father bless and be your name forever in jesus precious name we are prayed and god's people say amen put your hands together for jesus please you may be seated thank you so much praise him let's give them a more powerful god bless you a powerful god bless you viewers from all over the world you are welcome to this service of restoration tonight in the name of Jesus my prayer for you is that the Lord will restore you in Jesus name in this evening I'm sharing with us what I'm calling pursuit for restoration pursuit or in pursuit for restoration you are pursuing God to restore you previously we have established that our God is a master restorer is able to restore that which you have lost is able to bring you where you ought to be and you are not yet there according to his program is able to replenish your life is able to restore that deliberated um, affected life is able to restore someone say lord restore my life now he restored job please thank you he restored job after he had lost everything that same god will restore you tonight he restored the son of the Shunammite woman who was dead that God will restore you tonight now it doesn't matter what is missing in your life here does the statement it doesn't matter what is missing in your life and for how long it has been missing in your life it doesn't matter what is missing in your life and how long it has been missing as long as God is no missing in your life there is hope there is possibility for restoration have you heard what I've said it doesn't matter what is missing in your life and for how long it has been missing as long as God is not missing in your life, there is a possibility for restoration. Now, as meditating on, on this scripture in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37. Look at this scripture. Ezekiel 37. The 
Bible says, And the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and he caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Now look at that situation and analyze it in your, just in your heart. Ezekiel is taken to a valley of dry bones. That valley, valley is full of bones. They are very dry, meaning those people had died long, long time ago for the bones to be dry. There were very many. But dry bones, meaning the situation was hopeless. The situation was written off. The condition was concluded. It was beyond repair. It was beyond. According to man, there was no hope at all. It could not be restored. That was the situation. It was a concluded matter. People had written off the situation but look at that statement first number three and he says son of man can this bone live and i answered oh lord god thou knowest meaning according to man <laughs> that situation was written off first again he said unto me prophesy upon these bones and say unto them all ye dry bones leave hear the word of the lord Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Beyond I will cause bread to enter unto you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put bread in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Someone say, people will know that God is God in my life as he restores my life and as I, go, so I, so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to its bone that means there was realignment if the next were of the neck they began to move to realign themselves. Those of the hands, the ribs, began to move. Backbone began to move. Someone say, things will move in my life. To realign themselves for restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands to God and tell the Lord, restore my life my case is not beyond the repair my situation is not beyond the repair i am here for restoration my case is not beyond the repair my situation is not beyond the repair rebo shakatu sagada zegaria mahaga zugadia sakapa let there be restoration even on my viewers in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let there be restoration let there be restoration let there be restoration shaka tu sagaduza zekaria mashahagaduza in jesus precious name and god's people say amen now i've checked in the bible now come to realize all those who encountered restoration had a part to play god will not move and just begin to restore you without your part listen to me in the spiritual realm if things will happen somebody must move in motion are you getting it in your life if you will see things happening a force 
moved into motion something was engaged even if you are not the one somebody else somewhere engaged on your behalf that's what you need to understand when you see blessing coming your way never say you are lucky if you are not the one who engaged for the blessing to come somebody else stood in the gap for you for that thing to come to pass things in the spiritual realm do not happen for the sake in the spiritual realm things happen because they are meant to happen so if at all you encounter restoration in life there is your part there is what to do and there is the part of god now look at a man called job who had lost his wealth and lost his family that the, the children had died and lost his wealth and one time he encountered the restoration look at job 14 and verse number 14. look at job job chapter 14. you see in job 14 the bible say i mean job 42 the bible says i mean 42 verse 10 the bible says god restored job twice as much as he had before for that restoration to be effected in his life there is what job did now look at verse number seven verse seven the bible says for there is up over three if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease meaning job was not hopeless so as you are expecting for restoration don't be hopeless no matter the situation someone say amen job knew even though the tree has been cut off nobody is see me everything seems to have died yet i know there is hope for this Three through the scent of water it shall sprout again now jump to verse 14 and see if a man die shall he live again all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come all the days of my life that, that are appointed for me I will wait for one thing I know my turn is coming someone say my turn is coming job knew no matter how tough the situation was he would not die in that situation you will not die in that condition in jesus mighty name don't allow yourself to be hopeless no matter how tough your situation is job says oh my time appointed for me will i wait until my turn comes meaning he was not just sitting idle there must be something he was doing for waiting for his turn time or his turn to come that means there must be something he was doing he says look at verse 14 again if a man die shall he live again of course not all the days of my appointed time will i wait meaning he was doing something till my change comes and for sure his time came your time is come in jesus name i say your time is come in jesus mighty name job was in a prayer he was in a repentance what is it that has caused me to lose everything lord forgive me he was in a prayer he was in prayer sanctify himself look at job chapter 40 look at job 40 when god appeared to him when god appeared to him first one the bible says moreover the lord answered job and say shall he that condemned with the almighty instruct him he that reproved god let him answer it in other words god was asking job are we in the same platform that you are asking me these questions of why why me why and first the next verse then job answered the lord and said behold i am vile what shall i answer thee 
I will lay mine hand upon my mouth. That's humility now. He's telling God now, I'm not worthy to ask you the questions I, want, I was asking. I am wrong. Forgive me. That's what Job is saying. Once, if I spoken, but I will not answer. Yeah, twice. But I will proceed no further. Hear what Job is saying? I will not proceed now. I've understood my mistake. I will not proceed again to speak the things I was speaking. He was trying to justify himself before the Lord. And uh, the man, in, in, in the pursuit of justifying himself, he became bitter. Listen to me. When people are accusing you falsely, never pursue to justify yourself. The more you justify yourself, the more they will misunderstand you. <laughs> there are some things you will never rise to defend yourself. You will keep quiet. And you will allow God to justify you and to prove you one day. Are you hearing me? There were his friends and they were accusing him falsely. Until one time he became bitter. The more you try to justify yourself before people, the more you become bitter because not everybody will understand you some will understand you others will not and those who will not understand they will be used of the enemy to publicate things against you and you may even wonder and begin to doubt yourself if you try to justify yourself someone say thank you lord look at job 41 chapter 1 i mean job 42 chapter 42 and i show you first number one job chapter 42 and first one then job answered the lord and said i know that thou canst do everything and that no doubt can be with the other from thee now the man is addressing god as god now after serious repentance and he says in look at first now first number 10 Look at verse number 10. And the Lord turned the captive of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Now, that means the bitterness that Job got as a result of trying to justify himself before these people. Because you remember, he, he stood before his friend and began to tell them, if I have stolen anything of a human of any man let my hand be plucked from my shoulder and fall away he was trying to justify himself but in in the process of justifying himself he became bitter but the Lord came to him and told him if I have to restore you you must forgive them and pray for them and first number 10 justifies that statement and the Bible says and the Lord turned the captive of Job when he prayed for his friends he was praying for them forgiving them in the repentance and also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before may the Lord give you understanding are we talking about another woman is called Nahomi Nahomi you remember she she left Bethlehem Judah and went to, to Moab and she lost a husband and her two sons and after a life of affliction or oppression she chose to go back to Bethlehem Judah she took a step if restoration will come there must be a step you have to take to, you must pursue when we talk of pursuit of restoration we are talking of the step you are to take for that restoration to come some say thank you Lord now allow me in this service to show you two things just two two things or two steps you need to take seriously if at all you encounter restoration in your life number one step number one you need to seek the hand of God upon your life you need to seek the Lord seek the lord in our seek the hand of god upon your life that the first thing you don't need to run after people you don't need to run seeking for people trying to tell them i didn't do this i didn't do this no seek the lord seek his hand to come upon your life and of course you seek him 
through a lifestyle of prayer you seek him through a lifestyle of prayer in this season god has promised us of restoration separate some time to seek his face to seek his might hand upon your life even if it's 30 minutes but be consistent every day be consistent be consistent the challenge with the men of us unakuta baada ibada kama hii unatoka ukiwa na nguvu unasema i'm going to seek god unaomba leo the following day unaanza kudidimia pole pole by the time you reach the next service you are not praying at all you have lost you have lost unakuta umeanza kurudi tena square one and that is what is challenging many many brethren the reason is why you see some of the demons persisting in in hindering you is not because satan is powerful satan is not that powerful i tell you the truth because we have the almighty god but you see god today you you build some muscles and after two days you retrieve you begin to go backward as you are going backward the enemy begins to move again now and defancing to hinder you and that's why you find yourself you are going round and round round and round all just much much is it marching on one spot we need to arise and seek the lord someone say thank you lord look at hebrew 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 chapter 11 verse number six hebrew chapter 11 verse number six the bible says but without faith it is possible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him is a rewarder is a rewarder of them that diligently do what seek him and i've told you the other day seeking god is not easy you have to give yourself consistently amen i give myself to pray at night even when i'm tired and my wife will tell me come on me choke as you lie and i'll pray seated there i begin to walk in the night pray 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 when we live together kulala after we pray together i don't just go to sleep no i get into prayer and i'm there praying praying until a certain time at the night he's a faithful rewarder unto them that do what seeking diligently mean diligence here means persistence 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 please this this is not a game it's warfare i've told you christianity is not fanfare it is warfare we must give ourselves to seeking seeking one hour two hours three hours tell me i will seek him for his hand to be seen in your life I wanted to give you, I mean, to, to endear yourself to him by becoming a kingdom representative. Endear yourself to God by becoming his kingdom representative. 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 Wakati wa siyasa, kuna kuanga na watu ambao maali kura zinaesabiwa wanakuwa wanawakilisha mjumbe wao wakati kura zinahesabiwa wako hapo na wezi lala wezi lala wako hapo watching watching continuously mpaka siishi hata kama ni asubuhi they can't sleep they endear themselves to their to the person they are representing there they are there they are representing someone how do you endear yourself to him by committing yourself to his kingdom to serve him you are his representative representative of his kingdom anything about in a family of 
be there. Someone say, I'll be there. Don't be left behind. When people are being called for prayer and fasting, register yourself there. When they are being called for anything, register your name there. Don't be left out. The problem with many people, we have so many onlookers in the church. Onlookers. They are outside to look what is happening, but they are not doing anything at all in the kingdom of God. If at all, the mighty hand of God will come upon your life. Because I want to show you what we mean by the, the hand of God upon your life. If at all, the hand of God will come upon your life. It does not come for everybody. I tell you the truth. It does not come for everybody. It comes for people who are dear, representative. They are standing for God. Standing for his kingdom. They are standing for him in the service. And of course, when his hand comes upon you what do you see in life one of the things that you encounter once his hand is upon your life you encounter speed some are saying divine speed mm, divine speed divine speed divine speed look at first kings 18 first kings 18 First Kings chapter 18. Wamesikia watu wanaimba wanaambia Mungu usitumane kuja mwenyewe. Hey. It's a lie. He does not reveal himself to everybody this way. Look at verse 46. Okay, I begin from first Verse 45. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with the clouds and the wind. And there was great rain. And the hair rode and went to Jezreel. He rode on a horse and went to Jezreel. Verse 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he gathered up his loins. And he ran before her to the entrance of Jezreel. <laughs> Someone say, thank you, Lord. When the hand of God came upon Elijah, what was Elijah doing? He was on the mountain seeking the face of God. He was on the mountain seeking the face of God, casting his head between the, the knee. And the hand of God came upon Elijah and he overtook a man on a horse. He overtook. That's what I've said. It doesn't matter how, how, how long they have left you behind. Some ma doesn't matter how long they have gone ahead of you. When the hand of God is upon your life, you will overtake a man on a horse. In Jesus' precious name. You will overtake. You will overtake. Because you can't seek him and leave you alone. You can't seek him and leave you to suffer as if you have no God. He will show himself in that condition. As you are seeking him, his mighty hand will come upon your life. And he will just take you and overtake those who went ahead of you. Can I hear your amen? That's why I always tell people, don't compete with anybody. Seek him. Ukaona mtu ulizoma pamoja naye ashanunua nyumba ashaolewa ashafanya nini ashanjenga asha ashanunua magari ashaenda don't worry seek him as you seek God God will cause you to overtake when his hand comes upon you when his hand as you are seeking him his hand will come upon you and what he will do the hand of God brings the right people in your life in your way the right people the right people listen to me you don't need everybody are we together the bible says love everybody but you don't need everybody for your life to move forward i don't know whether that that means makes sense to you for you to progress you don't need everybody you need the few people who matter who are valuable in your life now look at this in Ezra chapter 8 Ezra 
Ezra Ezra Ezra Kiswahili wanaita Asara ni Asara Asara Ezra chapter 8 look at Ezra chapter 8 you remember Ezra they were going to build the temple he was a kingdom representative going to build the temple in Jerusalem and the Bible says as they were on the way verse 8, look at verse 18 verse 18 because there were so many challenges on the way the Bible says and by the good hand of our God upon us say with me the good hand of God upon me look at that and by the good hand of our God upon us they brought us a man of understanding when the good hand of God was upon them they brought a man of understanding a man valuable a man that mattered in their lives that mattered in that business that mattered you need those people whatever you need is with the people and once the good hand of God is upon you those people will come your way in Jesus name and by the good hand of our God upon us they brought us a man of understanding of the sons of Malai, the sons of Levi, the son of Israel, and Shelebiah with his sons and his brethren, 18. A good arm. I've said you need the right connection. In first Samuel chapter that you remember when 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 uh, when David went to Ziglag, he, 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 he went to fight, and when they were fighting, they looked back and they saw the enemy had come and attacked the city, and his two wives were taken captives, and the Bible says they began to weep. In the time of restoration, don't allow yourself to be depressed. Someone say, I refuse to be depressed. Shout it louder shout it louder i refuse to be depressed because depression will cause you to lose the energy you would have used in pursuing your restoration the bible says they wept until they had no strength to weep <laughs> but when naume wa nalia siju kama ushao na kamtoto kalichapwa kakalia kakana kafungua mdomo hakuna sauti inatoka Unasikia, after some time kama vungo mtoto unasikia mdomo kana sema sauti i talk lakini kanalia yani nguvu ya kulia imeisha david cried that way until they got tired and those men threatened of stoning him and he, he rose up and inquired of god and after inquiry from god he began to move and as they were moving he met one Egyptian akiwa meisha wakasema huyu mtu lazima alikuwa na wale maadui wache tumuulize wakaombea maji na mkate akapata nguvu wakamwambia tuambie bas maadui wetu wako wapi and we will not kill you someone say the right association that association that one man meant David to pursue overtake capture and recover her you need that person in your life that relevant person valuable necessary people you need them in your life someone say thank you lord and when the hand of god is upon you it causes those people to manifest to manifest to manifest some people will be wasting your life hey, if you don't know they'll be there to take advantage of you but if you seek God at the Kufunulia, the right people in your life, His hand upon your life, of course, brings deliverance. Look at Ezra, where we were reading. Ezra chapter 8, verse 31. Ezra 8. I want to read verse 31. The Bible says, Then we departed from the river of Ava on the 12th day of the first month to go unto Jerusalem and the hand of our god was upon us that statement i love it and the hand of our god was upon us and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and of such as lay in wait 
by the way and such lay on the way now don't think because you don't bother people that you not have enemies it's a lie what was Ezra Ezra was in Babylon now he's going back to build the temple he has not told anybody that he is coming he has only told the king and the king has given him support that he goes back to build the temple but as he was going he finds enemies on the way waiting for him that means hey, is a lie as long as you have seen your star is shining more they will lay on the weight on the way waiting for you they will lay on the way waiting for you apostle paul says a great door and the virtual one is open for me but there are many adversaries many adversaries many adversaries they begin to lay enemies on the way waiting for you that's why you need the hand of god upon your life that he may deliver you the lord will surely deliver you and they preserve you his hand of course i can't continue with all this is a hand of power it will restore you so i've said number one you must seek him and as you seek him and announce you gain speed the right people your way utapata ukombozi na utapata preservation is power number two in the pursuit of restoration you must embark on search for restoration embark on search for restoration now ya kwanza ni kutafuta mungu mkono wake uwe juu yako ya pili ni kutafuta urejesho kutafuta urejesho that means there are physical steps you will take that means there are physical steps hata usha homba au utarudi kwa nyumba ukae kwa nyumba ongojea restoration kuja kwa nyumba no kuna hatua utachukua kuna mambo utakayofanya ya kusababisha urejesho now look at first samuel chapter 9 first samuel chapter 9 we, are, we see a man called Saul who later became king Saul The Bible says, first one, now there was a man in Benjamin whose name was Kish, the, the son of Abiel, the son of Zero, the son of Bechorat, the son of Epia, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. First two, and he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children, there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulder and upward, he was higher than any of the people. First number three, and the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to Saul, his son, Take now one of the servants with thee, and arise and go seek the horses arise take a step now move and seek you know what umepoteza kazi na unataka urejesho wa kazi kazi haita kuja kwa nyumba umeomba mkono wa bwana uko juu yako kwa wema now chukua atua take a step and begin to seek the lost asses take a step begin to search begin exploration begin exploration a back on a search for restoration let me say this answers are always next to the questions can i say it again answers are always next to the questions when you see questions answers are no far away they are nearby until you seek you can't get the answers 
until you give yourself to discover you will never recover until you give yourself to discover you will never recover look at luke 15 first number eight luke 15 first number eight jesus giving this parable someone say lord speak to me now look at verse number eight Ada, what woman having ten pieces of silver if she lose one piece that not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she finds it you need to understand those words are very powerful words first eight either that woman having 10 pieces of silver if she loses one piece that not light a candle said me i will light a candle connoting revelation connoting revelation you will light a candle and sweep the house and seek how you seek diligently till she finds it you must engage on practical steps to get what is yours until you give yourself to discover you never have recovery you must give yourself to discover now let me show you how you search for restoration how you search for restoration number one be on the lookout for a word someone say a word of for i mean a word for restoration be on the lookout for a word for restoration now when you are searching for you you are taking practical steps towards your restoration you don't just wake up and you begin to move no get a word you can base your faith on get a word that's why the bible says this woman will light a candle that candle here connotes revelation candle brings light light connotes revelation get a particular word as you are as you are praying to get a job kitu ya kwanza pata neno god may drop just an idea in your spirit an idea in your spirit now talk at nailo neno that's the first step Talk and you know, with the word, with the word, with the word. Now, look at this story I was sharing with you about David in First Samuel. I am in is it First Samuel? Yes, First Samuel. Look at it. First Samuel chapter 30. First Samuel chapter 30. Someone shout hallelujah. You are blessed. Jesus is Lord. Now in first samuel chapter 30 when everything had been banned let me read first first one then i jump to to first another first down there and it came to pass when david and his men were come to ziglag on the, that day and the amalekites had invented the south and ziglag and smith and ziglag and the bandit with the fire and are taking the women captives that were there in they slew not any either great or small but they carried them away and they went on their way wakachukua kila kitu wakaenda that means now what david needs is what restoration someone say restoration now look at first number 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 what number six and david was greatly distressed that's why i've told you don't allow the depression in the time of challenge don't allow yourself to be depressed no matter what you have lost and david was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters but david encouraged himself in the lord his god now look at verse 7 and david said to abiada the priest and ahimelech sons i pray thee bring me did that i mean either the effort and abiada brought did the effort to david now the effort was an instrument of communicating to god was an instrument of worship now it was to be played now first eight 
And David inquired at the Lord. Someone say, I will inquire. He inquired at the Lord saying, Shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him. Now the Lord answered David and said, And said what? Mm -hmm. He answered him and said, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover her. Some are saying a word of God. That's a key thing. Stop crying. You want now to take practical step and inquire from God just to get one word. Someone say one word. On that one word, God will drop in your spirit. Build your faith. Build yourself. Stand on that one word and pursue. Pursue. You are not pursuing riding on a house. You are pursuing riding on the word of prophecy. The word that God will drop in your heart. Someone shout hallelujah. That word, dio itakupa tumaini. Ilo neno ulisa mungu na sema nini kuhusu hii biashara. Shall I pursue it? Shall I? And God will drop a word in your spirit. Now pursue. Ukitume ilo neno. Ata kama watu wanasema nini. Ata kama hakuna ndalili za kuinuka. You are riding on that one word. Sama shout hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. You are blessed. You are blessed. Number two. Look out for restoration producing opportunities. Are we together? I'm, I'm showing you how to search now. How, how, how to search for restoration. How, how to back on a search for restoration. I'm saying, step number one here, you get the word. About utakimbia nayo. Nayapili, nikasema, look out for restoration producing opportunities or situation look out that this this demands you need to be sensitive and a lot to open your eyes lay hands on your eyes say lord open my eyes open my eyes that i may see now you need to look out in the world of men now in the physical world for opportunities for situations that are able to produce opportunities look out for restoration producing opportunities or situation that can produce opportunities that's what you need to look out for now the stone that killed Goliath was not imported from China amen the stone that killed Goliath was not imported from US or from China and David collected smooth stone he collected from there Jesus when he fed 5,000 people he never imported he got it from around there was a boy with the two fish and the five loaves of bread he used it and the miracle was effected restoration came restoration came so you, you you must be sensitive you must be sensitive now look look at first samuel chapter 9 look at first samuel chapter 9 there's something i want to show you then we rise to pray our time is up first samuel chapter 9 are you there Now, this is Saul, where we began to read. He's looking for the lost in donkeys. He's not getting them. The Bible says, and he passed through Mount Ipra, Ibrahim, and he passed first number four, and he passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalim, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of Benjamites, but they found them not. He has tried looking for the lost doggies several villages different localities he has not seen them now first number five the bible says and when they were come to the land of Zub, saul said to his servant that was with him come and let us return lest my father leave caring for the asses and take thought of us 
and he said unto him beyond now there is in this city a man of God and he is an honorable man all that he said yet come it surely to pass now let us go thither for an avenger he can show us our way that we should go first number seven then say so to his servant but beyond if we go what shall we bring the man for the bread is spent in our vessels and there is not a present to bring to the man of god what have we now verse eight and the servant answered saul again and said beyond i have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver that will i give to the man of god to tell us our way mm -hmm. are we together i want to i want to move to, okay can, let, let me continue before time in israel when a man went to an choir of god thus he spoke come and let us go to the seer for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer now put your eyes on verse number 10 are you there in verse number 10 then said saul to his servant well say come and let us go so they went unto the city where the man of god was and as they went up the hill to the city they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them is the seer here and they answered them and said he is and behold is before you make haste now for he came today to the city for there is a sacrifice for the people today in the high place as soon as you be come into the city you shall straight away find him before he go up to the high place to eat for the people will not eat until he come because he did bless the sacrifice and afterward they eat that be bidden now therefore get you up for about this time you shall find him now verse 14 let's read together if you are there and they went up into the city and when they were come into the city behold Samuel came out against them in other words he came to meet them for to go up to the high place now the Lord had stored Samuel in his ear a day before so came say tomorrow about this time I will send a man out of the land of the Benjamin and thou shalt anoint him to be captain of my people Israel that he may save my people out of the ends of the Philistine for I have looked upon my people because their cry is come unto me now verse 17 let's read together and when Samuel saw Saul the Lord said unto him beyond the man whom I spoke to thee of this same shall reign of my people verse 18 let's read together then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said tell me I pray thee where the seer's house is let's read together verse 18 then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said tell me I pray thee where the seer's house is Saul wants to see Samuel na amekutana na Samuel face to face na kile anauliza sasa nyumba ya yule natafuta iko wapi ni onesha Someone said, Lord, I want to be sensitive. That's why you should never despise any man. Oh. Never despise any woman. Never despise anybody. The person you are looking for might be standing next to you and you try to mock and despise them. Kumbe Nyumba yake ni Kumbe ni anaongea and you don't know may the lord open your eyes that you will never despise anybody you will never mock anybody no matter the the education level no matter the financial level no matter the age god can use a child to lift you god can use a baby to save your life God can use anybody, never mock anybody in life. God can use anyone to deliver you. That's why you need to be sensitive. 
nilikuambia ukiona swali njibu iko karibu ukiona swali eh, kuna kisi, kitabu nilikuwa nasoma primary iko in enzoclopedia iko na maswali ya kila kila subject nyuma yake ulikuwa na answers za kila swali wameuliza hapo you hands up be next don't mock anybody hmm? don't mock anybody amen so listen to a man of god a very powerful man of god they were preaching together with Morris Rulo na kwa college he approached a certain sister amoe and the sister mocked the brother and called him a mosquito <laughs> me to be married by a mosquito later after they parted from college the sister got married their brother went his way and they began business now as they were doing business wakafika mahali akawa fix they needed capital they needed good money and his husband her husband told him kuna mtu nimeambiwa anaweza kutusaidia na pesa let's go to him and they went alipo enda kubisha mlango kuingia kwa nyumba the the lady saw this is brother while the husband wanted to introduce her to the to the to the man who would lend the money akakuta wana Joana akamuuliza kwani mna Joana and the, 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 the man of god said mosquitoes have blood even mosquitoes have what blood amen <laughs> let's be enough it go can use anybody kwani naamani alijua msaada wake aje msichana wa nyumba aliambia mistress of the house kama mzee anaweza enda his while there is a prophet there there is a prophet there there is a prophet there in this time as we are praying for restoration god will bring people your way listen to me god will bring people your way be alert be sensitive pray that the lord will open your eyes that you will see beyond the face value that you will see beyond the face value god will bring people your way now i want you to pray for yourself tonight number one, to receive the zeal to seek the face of god to receive that zeal of prayer in the fasting don't allow yourself to 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 read or to go down in prayer receive that grace from god amen then number two we pray for the grace the wisdom to move our hearts to be opened to locate that which god is bringing our way have you understood lift your voice to god begin to ask god for the grace of prayer ask god for the grace of prayer ask god for the grace ask god for the grace ask god for the grace the grace of prayer the grace to seek his face the grace to seek the face of god the grace to be a kingdom representative somebody seeking the kingdom of god and his interest somebody seeking the face of god somebody tell me to be a representative of the kingdom Lebo shalalababusete lebi sota Miko sogodia kakabalaba Shahanda laba shanda Lema shakato sokopia kakabalaba Ze katasa kaparaba shahata Lema shagabalaba shata Libo shatalaba shatalaba Ziko to sokopi libi sota laba shanda Lema shagada sakaparaba shahata Leba shahada laba sanda Lema shagadia kakabalaba Sheto lobo sota laba shata Grace of prayer and the fasting Somebody has gone for the grace of prayer and the fasting Grace of prayer and the fasting 
grace has gone for that grace of prayer and the fasting somebody has gone for the grace of prayer and the fasting has go for the grace of prayer has go for the grace of prayer and fasting tell the lord revive me revive me in prayer revive me in the prayer revive me in the prayer rabu shagada saka baraba shahata libashi atalia mazuda maka sagaba labashata libashi atalia mazuda labashata grace of prayer grace of prayer and fasting grace of prayer and fasting lord i want to be committed i want to be a representative of the kingdom a representative of the kingdom a representative of the kingdom seeking the lord in prayer seeking the lord serving the lord committedly dedicatedly i want to be a kingdom representative somebody pray commit yourself dedicate your life that you will serve god that you will serve god that you will give yourself to serve him give yourself to serve him give yourself to serve the lord give yourself to serve the lord tonight give yourself to serve the lord tonight give yourself to serve the lord tell the lord i want to renew my commitment i renew my commitment in serving you i renew my commitment i renew my commitment in serving you lord malababu shilalababu satalaba somebody today renew your commitment to god renew your kingdom commitment renew your dedication renew your commitment in seeking the lord in serving the lord tell the lord i want to serve you i want to seek you i want to serve you i want to serve you i want to seek you diligently to be committed to be committed to be committed shaka balaba shahalalababa in jesus precious name we are praying pray this prayer that god will give you i mean the lord first of all to open your eyes that will be sensitive the lord will give you the wisdom the grace the wisdom to take the right steps the right steps the wisdom the zeal the lord will open your eyes that you will not miss out on opportunities that will come your way for one minute pray this prayer please pray this prayer today pray this prayer today pray this prayer today malababu shila lababu satalaba malababu shila lababu siti libi sotalaba mika sagaba laba shalalaba i pray for wisdom wisdom somebody pray for wisdom pray for the wisdom the wisdom the wisdom to take the right steps wisdom to take the right steps pray the lord to open your eyes 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 malababu shilalababu siti libi sotalaba lima shagaba laba shilalababa lebo satalaba shilalababu siti libi in jesus precious name we are praying now the last prayer i've told you it doesn't matter how long your blessing are missing how long what you are seeking for has been missing doesn't matter how far they have gone ahead of you as long as god is in your life is able to restore imagine the dry bones in the valley that means they had many, many years they were in that valley. And then the Lord raised an army from those dry bones. Your situation is not too much for God. Your situation is not beyond the repair. Your situation is too small before God of restoration. I want you to cry to God today and tell the Lord, Lord, I surrender to you. Restore my life. Restore my life. Roll away this shame. I cannot bear this shame. Lord, restore my life. You are the immortal God. Restore my life. Are we together? Are we together? You see, he said in, in, in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, I will restore to you the years that the locusts, the canker of the caterpillar, the palm of have eaten. Amen. And he says, and my people, verse 26, my people shall never be ashamed. One of the reasons why God will bring you restoration is to take away shame from your life. Is to take away shame 
from your life. So I want you to cry to God, Lord, restore my life. When you lean on people that will let you down, when you lean on God, you encounter a turnaround. Are we together? God will restore your life. I'm telling you this. Why I, do I have this confidence? The Lord showed to me. He showed to me I was asleep. And he showed to me as I, I saw myself who we were preaching here. And he told me it's time for restoration. He, that was on this altar. It's time for what? For restoration. It's time for what? It doesn't matter what. God is able. He's able. He's able. He's able to restore your life. I want you to claim that restoration, please. Shout of God. Lift up your voice and tell the Lord I'm here for restoration. Restore my life, my financial life, my career life, my destiny. Restore me. I'm here for restoration. Somebody pray for restoration. Pray for restoration. Pray for restoration. Libo shakatu saka parabashata. Lema shia gadia kabala bashata. Doesn't matter how long the thing has been missing. Doesn't matter how long the thing has been missing. Lord, you are the specialist in the restoration. You are the master restorer. The master restorer. Restore my life. Roll away shame. Restore my life. Restore my health. Restore my finances. Restore my job. Restore my family. Restore my career. Let there be restoration. 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 Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. 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 Let there be restoration. 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 In Jesus' precious name. Now, some of you, you don't need the restoration. You need restitution. Someone say restitution. One, one lady in the church I was pastoring some years ago was left by a brother. The brother I, I trusted so much. He left. The lady had taken even a loan from the bank and gave this brother as they were courting. Since the brother was helping me in the church, he was helping me in the church. He had nothing. The church, the whole thing, sometimes would be 500. So imagine if the, 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 it was 500 and we, we are two of us. Do you think there was money? And uh, this lady said, ah, I want to help this brother. By the time we get married, huh, loved a, 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 a wonderful job. When the brother got the loan, he swallowed the money and left the sister. He located another one in the church. And he said, this one was black. I wanted a brown one. It was, I, was, uh, I felt as if I, I was the one who had been left. I just, the, you see, to pastor is not easy. To pastor people is not easy because you carry the burden. I chased the brother from the church. Go away, you are wicked. And the brother went. Of course, he married that lady, and they, today they are not together, they separated. This lady who was left, God later blessed her. Amen. He gave her a wonderful man who did now need the loan to be supported, to be stable. He was already stable. After getting married, it was one touch, triple manifestation. Amen. She got triplets in the first time. That means she overtook. You are done understand what I'm talking about. Can you see? That is restitution. Someone say, Lord, I need restitution. It's not just being given what you lost, but with the interest, with the interest, with the dividends, you are brought where you are supposed to be. If you lost 10 years, you're not going to get the 10 years you lost. More than 10 years plus interest in Jesus. Say, so, Lord, I need restitution in my life. Lead your voice for a minute. Pray for restitution in your life. Restitution. Restitution. In your life, Malobo Shahagado Saka Zekatia Lebo Zuta Lema Shagado Sakapa Zita Libo Zuta 
ze kata sakapa zutai le meshia talaba zuda zika toso kopi libi sota leba shakata sakapa lord i pray for a miracle in somebody's life tonight that will cause their days of pain maraba shahata to be over yes tenda munjiza utakao fanya wasau siku za uchungu siku za bachozi lord i pray do a miracle in their lives do a miracle in their lives that will cause them to forget their days of pain do a miracle in their lives in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus do a miracle in somebody's life that will cause them to forget the days of pain the days of tears but attend them on jesus katika maisha ya watu wako ambao watasahau machozi watasahau siku za uchungu siku za kilio wasahau rabu shakata sakapa restoration is coming your way restoration is coming your way restitution is coming your way god will cause you to overtake in jesus name the last prayer now i know some of you have been delayed by the enemy the enemy must let you go now tonight the hand of god will come upon your life can i hear your amen and as the hand of god is coming upon you god cannot be laying hand on you and at the same time the devil is laying hand on you someone say never say lord touch me tonight and deliver me let your hand of power come upon me and deliver me today restore my life restore my life deliver me today by your might hand restore my life deliver me let your hand of power come upon me somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray let the hand of god come upon your life let the hand of god touch your life let the hand of god come upon your life the hand of restoration the hand for divine secret the hand for divine speed the hand for divine speed the hand that will bring speed the mighty hand of god the mighty hand of god the mighty hand of god shakatu sagadu zada zihe kariya mashagadu za let the hand of god bring speed in your life let the hand of god bring restoration let the hand of god bring restoration let the hand of god bring speed in your life let the hand of god take away shame roll away shame roll away shame in the name of jesus i rebuke every power of darkness i rebuke every opposition i rebuke every barrier i rebuke every hindrance my father my father visit your children visit your children and do as you have said you visited sarah and did unto her as you had said you visited sarah and did unto her as you had spoken visit someone tonight visit my viewers tonight visit your children tonight visit your children tonight and do restoration as you have said do restoration do restoration do restoration do restoration do restoration in jesus name as i make this prayer there's something i'm seeing in the spirit i see something foreign in your in in in, in your in your tummy i don't know what is is your tummy or your home but in your tummy i see something foreign an object an object in your body either in your tummy or in your hump i see a foreign object naona kitu ndani ya tumbo yako as i make this prayer the lord will flush it out father in the name of jesus i thank you bless your holy name thank you for this dear one lord you have located tonight it is because 
wakati wako umefika the time for this dear one has come in the name of jesus i command that object whatever it is i know it is of the enemy i know it is of the enemy i know it is of the enemy come out in the name of jesus i beg that yoke of the enemy na funja hiyo nira na funja hiyo nira you demonic yoke be broken be broken now be broken now be broken now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i flash out that object i flash out that object i flash out that object daddy i flash it out i flash it out i flash it out in the name of jesus by faith daddy i count one to seven by the time i mention seven let that thing be flushed out with that blood let it be flushed out yes yes that black thing to be flushed out that yoke to be broken that chain to be broken that yoke to be broken one in the name of jesus two in the name of jesus three in the name of jesus four in the name of jesus five in the name of jesus six in the name of jesus seven in the name of jesus yes be free now be free be free be free be free be free now be free now be free now be free be free be free in jesus precious man you are blessed god bless you hallelujah appreciate the lord better 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 appreciate him again and again hallelujah appreciate the lord for the powerful ministration appreciate the servant of god appreciate yourself in jesus name you can have your seat please just give in time it is giving time it is blessing time in jesus name praise be to god i want you to open in the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 10 the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 10 it is giving time please have that envelope prepare to give something good in jesus name and the lord will bless you it says bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now here we say yet the lord of us if i will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing somebody say blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it the lord is asking you to test it to try it with your tithe, with your giving, he will open the windows of heaven. He will open your storehouse. The key to your storehouse is with you. Somebody say the key to my storehouse is with me. And that key is giving. Hallelujah. It is giving. So use that key to your storehouse for you to receive your blessing, for you to receive your restoration have that key of giving always remember the key to abundance the key to multiplication the key to increase is through giving is through giving blessing is he that giveth than he that receiveth if you give you receive in abundance please prepare that offering that tithe if you are giving tithe write your name those that are using mpesa our empathy till number is there please it is five eight six nine one six i repeat five eight six nine one six you can use it and the law will declare abundance upon your life blessing upon your life if you have packed a good operating a good token please be on your feet as you thank the lord with it as you appreciate with it in the name of jesus christ inua tu kwa mkono wako ambia mungu ni asande kwa sababu ya isandaka kwa sababu ya isaka katika jina la yesu kwiso father we say thank you thank you because of this offering thank you because of the tithes thank you because of this offering thank you because of the sacrifice in the mighty name of jesus christ father god as i give restore for me 
Let's store my life. Let's store my business. Let's store my career. Let there be increase. Let there be amber dance. Let there be restoration. Open for me, my store us. Open for me, the windows of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, fire this over it. Father, this token, release your blessing. Rain the rain of blessing upon my life. Fire this over it. Let your people, Lord, never walk in want, never walk in lack. In, want, in, lack. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless them more, bless them more. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and everybody say amen. Please give your offering with the joy and gratitude in Jesus' name. You can bring it forward. Amen and amen. Appreciate the Lord as we usher the servant of God so that he may release you in Jesus' name. Appreciate him as he comes, please. You are blessed. You are favored. It is well with your life. The Lord multiply you. That the hand of God is upon your life. The enemies that are waiting to capture you on the way they are shattered. Their plans have backfired. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they have totally lost in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and declare restoration in your life. 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 In, your life. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you so much. Please remember our Thursday prayer and Holy Communion service on this coming Thursday, please. Let's tune in. It shall be on Facebook from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. And then on Friday, we have our deliverance service. Please come and the Lord bless you. Together, we share goodness. Surely, goodness and mercy, signs, wonders and miracles shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall know the presence of God forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. God bless you.